Well, guys, it's things like this that make my reminder video so important and is the reason I do them, because it seems we have Justin Trudeau trying to rewrite history on the pandemic. Yeah, apparently he didn't force anyone to get jabbed, according to this tosspot at some event yesterday. Misinformation and disinformation is carrying people to believe things that are untrue. And vaccinations is a perfect example of it. Like any modern bit of medical advancements, there are potential side effects in vaccinations. And there you know, are people who've probably gotten very sick from vaccinations on the billions of people who've been vaccinated against COVID over the past few years. And the idea that people can fly in the face of science, well, individuals are allowed to make their own choices. There may be all sorts of different reasons why someone is hesitant to get vaccinated. And all of the scientists and the medical experts and the researchers, not just in Canada, but around the world, understood that vaccination was going to be the way through this. And therefore, while not forcing anyone to get vaccinated, I chose to make sure that all the incentives and all the protections were there to encourage Canadians to get vaccinated. Now, someone asked this prick if he needs a new pen to rewrite history because surely he must know that people kept receipts for not only him but many other scumbags. In fact, here is just a few. Christia has outlined what the mandatory vaccination that's in place immediately for federal employees will look like. The bottom line, proof of vaccination will be required by no later than the end of this month for all federal employees. And by mid-November, mid enforcement measures in place will make sure that everyone is vaccinated. And the same goes for the second commitment we made, mandatory vaccination on travel. By the end of October, everyone 12 or older on a plane or train within Canada should be fully vaccinated. I can understand frustrations with mandates, but mandates are the way to avoid further restrictions or having to be restricted. As people get vaccinated, as Canadians have gotten vaccinated, we've been able to get through things. And this team is going to stay focused on doing exactly that. If you want to get on a plane or a train in the coming months, you're going to have to be fully vaccinated because everyone needs to get vaccinated. And those people are putting us all at risk. And yes, there is a small fringe element in this country that is angry, that doesn't believe in science, that is lashing out with racist, misogynistic attacks. If you don't want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. But don't think you can get on a plane or a train besides vaccinated people and put them at risk. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that sounds a lot like forcing people to get something even if they don't want to, using the threat of redundancy or an inability to travel as the stick to do it. That there to me is blatant coercion, which is just another name for using force without actually using visible force. Losing jobs or the ability to travel will leave some people with no choice but to cave in, which in my mind is forcing them to get it, is it not? Now, yes, he didn't personally pin them down and make people get the jab, but he did push the situation that forced many people who wouldn't have taken it to get it for whatever reason. This he did while also vilifying those who didn't get it and even said they're taking up space and asked whether we should tolerate them. Aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés à la vaccination, qui sont extrémistes, qui croient pas dans la science, qui sont souvent misogynes, souvent racistes aussi. C'est un, 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 un petit groupe, mais qui prend de la place. Est-ce qu'on tolère ces gens-là ou est-ce qu'on dit, ben, voyons la. Yeah, it all sounds a bit 1930s Germany to me, but apparently he didn't force anyone to do anything, did he? To that I say he's talking shit, and hopefully this video will remind people of that because we must never forget what these toss pots did. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset.